Hello, everybody, wherever you may be, December, all the way through the 11th, which is Sunday. This is going to be maybe one of the best weekends for amateur and shortwave DXing we've had since maybe a day or two in the summer. This is a very good forecast. First, the A1A gives you an idea of the sunspot regions on both the north and southern hemisphere of the sun, and they are on both hemispheres, and they're really being active. Your magnetosphere view, taking away all the brightness from the sun and focusing on these sunspots, here it is from a few days ago, and here it is from yesterday, and take a look at this. Amazing conditions. Most of the sunspots there in the northern hemisphere of the sun, and then a couple of them, including one that's very active at 3153 in the south. Here's your coronal home map, nothing that's facing Earth, but we do have a high solar wind component. It's slightly high today. I expect it to decrease over the weekend. Three days of solar flare detection. This is where the forecast really gets good. Take a look at what's happening today. The baseline is moving into close to M flare territory. There are nine sunspot regions currently facing Earth. This weekend, we're going to see some amazing solar flux index numbers. And barring a coronal mass ejection, we should have some amazing conditions, possibly the best weekend of 2022. Here's your global D-layer absorption. The global D-layer today, it is a little bit high. We're seeing attenuation up to maybe 1 dB all the way up to the 20-meter the band today. After 20 meters, it starts to slide down, but still just a little bit even on 17 meters today. Solar indices, SFI 143, that number is going to climb today. Smooth sunspot number 115, that's up 8. Area number 1140, that's up 370. This is going to be a great day, and tomorrow and Sunday, great days to work your amateur or shortwave receiver. Your KP index, here is the, the thing that come, comes across as being really bad, but it's going to get better. KP3, that's unsettled. That's confirmed as well by Space Weather Live today. But look at what happens the next three days. We're going to see the KP index decrease, which means lower noise floors and much better conditions, especially on the bands below 10 megahertz and at night. This is going to be an amazing couple of days to work your radio. Solar wind speed, this was earlier today, 503.6 kilometers per second. And if you take a look at the Bravo Zulu latitude, just barely north, but it's expected to stay fairly north most of today. Your QRZ conditions here for today, see if I can grab those. I know I put them up, but they're just not here. Let me try and grab it really quick for you and put it on the screen if I can. All right, SFI day, 143, sunspot number 116. That's a good number. That's going to go up today as well. Your EME degree is poor today. BZ latitude now a positive 5.8. Not so much QSB on the bands in the northern hemisphere, but it's going to be a great day to work your radio. That's for sure. Solar wind, 524.1 kilometers per second. HF conditions are shown there. We'll do much better than that today. Look at the MUF, maximum usable frequency at Boulder. This is the second line from the bottom, 34.45 megahertz. This is going to be a very special day. We'll take a look here at your Kilo Charlie 2 golf map. This is current conditions worldwide. Take a look at 10 meters. This is where the band is right now at noon, basically noon Pacific time here in North America. As the day progresses, what happens is this number, and it just refreshed here, this number starts to go further north. We had 20 meters and then 10 meters a couple of days ago, all the way as far north as Anchorage. So it's possible northern areas of Canada could get 10 meters today. Let's start off in Alaska. 20 megahertz right now if you're in Anchorage. 16 if you're in Fairbanks. In the continental U.S., 30 in the, the midroot range of Montana. There's that 34 in Denver. 36 Southern California. 43 megahertz in Hawaii. 32 Brownsville, Texas. 30 in Pensacola, Florida. 31 Great Lakes. 29 New England. 28 if you're a little farther south towards Washington, D.C. And just some amazing 10 meters all the way down into South America with very little other than 10 meters being available to you. So I know the 10 meter contest this is weekend and it's going to be a perfect weekend to work 10 meters worldwide. In Europe right now, and, and if you take a look here at 10, where 10 is going to go, if we're going to basically keep it straight and figure tomorrow in Europe, places mid-UK south, so mid-UK, northern France, northern Germany, 
you're going to get the 10 meter band. It's not going to reach as far as Denmark or South Sweden or South Norway, but still 10 meters in most of Europe tomorrow should be prevalent as well as great 10 meter propagation throughout the continent of Africa for you. Far East, you're going to get 10 meters in the middle of the day. You should reach the, that point, I'd say by about 10, 30, 11 o'clock AM if you're in the Far East. And look at Australia waking up. Look at the numbers here and how far, how quick they're coming in to the 10 meter band. 17 megahertz currently as the sun has just come up in Tasmania. 14 if you're in Perth. 25 megahertz if you're up near Townsville. If you're near Brisbane, you're going to be about 22 megahertz. Just some amazing conditions. And today, the North Island of New Zealand, you're going to get 10 meters. I don't know how much of the southern island of New Zealand gets 10 today, but at least 10 meters is going to be pretty much all over the world. Should be an amazing day to work that DX contest over the weekend. Your ham and shortwave forecast for the weekend, powered by ICOM. ICOM for the love of ham radio. Amazing conditions this weekend. SFIs to increase both today tomorrow and Sunday. Noise floors quiet, S0 to S2 at times through Sunday. Northern Hemisphere voice bands 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 if you're about south of 60 degrees north, and that's basically Alaska south. Mid-latitudes 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10. Southern Hemisphere 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10. Data modes, excellent conditions, 30 to 10 meters in all latitudes. And if you're in the 11 meter DX on the CB bands, it should be open north, mid, and south latitudes. Tonight on amateur radio bands, noise floors S0 to S1, possible S2 at times through Sunday, but those S2s aren't going to last too long. It'll drop back down again very quickly. Nighttime amateur radio band openings, 160, 80, 60, 40, 30. Remember, your best DX is your maximum usable frequency at sunset. Then work your lower bands till you reach 40 and 80 meters overnight. Shortwave listeners, daytime shortwave SFIs to increase this weekend. Great noise floors. Going to be quiet. Not so much static on the shortwave bands this weekend. Should be S0 to S1. Maybe climbing as high as an S2 at times through Sunday. But again, that S2 is not going to last very long. Shortwave daytime bands. 31, 25, 22, 19, 15, and the 13 meter band. Nighttime shortwave. Noise floors quiet tonight. Quiet through Sunday. Good good conditions for shortwave DXing. Shortwave nighttime. 120, 90, 75, 60, 49, 41, 31, 25, 22. And the 19 meter band will be open to the southern hemisphere about three hours after sunset. And I believe it'll be open in the north as well. 30 to 60 minutes post sunset because we've got such a high solar flux index. The ionosphere at the F layer has enough charge to it that even after dark, maybe by an hour in the north, you're still going to pick up that 19 meter band. 19 meter is going to be great for shortwave listeners. Also, great conditions. Don't forget 60, 49, 41 tonight. The good part, high SFI brings some great signals in and the low noise floors allows you to hear them. This is going to be a great weekend to work your amateur or your shortwave radio. Thanks a lot for watching this weather segment. For people who like the Ham Radio Live Show, I hope to put one together today. I'll do my very best to do so. Wherever you may be, God bless you. Thanks for watching the weather segment today. Get that radio on. Make some amazing calls, and good luck to you.